met by other Iowa State University officials uh, interested in the, that department to explain to him actually what is going on. Here you see the students breaking uh, from the crowd and possibly moving to a better advantage point to get a look uh, at Mr. Khrushchev. Here you see the security uh, people walking along beside the cars, hurrying the lead car, telling them to move along. Cap, as we look down the uh, street, looking west, it's about as solid a mass of humanity as we have seen for a long, long time. It is, and uh, they are, what you might uh, say, interested in this uh, uh, visiting uh, delegate from another uh, country. It uh, shows that our educational institutions are interested in exchange of information, exchange of people, learning more about uh, how the people live. Now as we look north, heading south, as a car passes down by the television studios, we will get a glimpse of the official caravan as it moves along. The elite car moving toward us, moving toward our television camera. Security cars on each side. As we mentioned, the practice football field off to your left, where as he passes by in an enclosure would be the Iowa State football team practicing for a Friday night game. Yep, there's about as many uh, uh, cars belonging to the security people as other cars carrying the official delegate. And uh, that is uh, what you will find in Russia. Investing with the uh, agricultural attaché in uh, Moscow last year, we found that uh, whenever any of the uh, people from the embassy left uh, Moscow, there were usually uh, two or three black limousines ahead of them and two or three black limousines behind them as they moved uh, uh, around the country. It would be interesting to know the estimate of the crowd. Uh, as we've said earlier, it looks as if Visha was upon us, and uh, we know that uh, that can't be capped, but uh, the crowd resembles uh, Visha at Iowa State University. This will be something that the young people will remember for a long time, and I think uh, that uh, it will have a tendency to broaden their reading, Dick, uh, uh, when it comes to international affairs, and particularly when it comes to uh, the Russian-U.S. Uh, uh, relationships. Perhaps we could uh, term this as a visha, because at uh, that time of the year, the uh, uh, university opens its doors, goes on display. Today, we have more or less opened our doors, uh, cap, and uh, a visiting dignitary has taken a look. In the few minutes, uh, or I should say the, uh, the couple of hours that he will have here at Iowa, University and the few minutes that he's had on campus, uh, you can't begin to, to get a visual picture of it. But I do hope that uh, this visit will inaugurate the opportunity to bring more young people from Russia and other people who actually uh, uh, do the work in Russia to this country to see how we do uh, live, how we work, how we play in this country uh, not just the uh, top echelon, which has been the bulk of the people that have come to this country, but the uh, everyday working uh, uh, people to come here and share experiences with us. Perhaps you would wonder what the buses uh, are. They're carrying the press as they continue on the tour on the university campus. This is looking south on the campus. Off to the right, you see the enclosure of the practice football field cars, an ambulance uh, following behind the buses as a precautionary measure should they be needed. As we look to the south, uh, our shot gone, but you could see a portion of Helzer Hall, one of the new men's dormitories on the campus. The cars making a left turn will head east, will wind uh, down around the, the lake on the university campus, Lake Laverne, will head past the Memorial Union, where uh, Mr. Khrushchev should get a good glimpse of uh, student life. And that is... And the... Uh ...making a left turn, we'll head east, we'll wind uh, down around the, the lake on the university campus, Lake Laverne, we'll head past the Memorial Union, where uh, Mr. Khrushchev should get a good glimpse of uh, student life.
And that is and the uh, caravan of the official party, Chairman Khrushchev, and uh, the other Russian visitors to Iowa State University has just uh, appeared. Our cameras are picking them up as they approach the swine nutrition farm. And in just a moment, the first car will turn into the lane. And Chairman Khrushchev, Madame Khrushcheva, and the other members of the party will arrive for a very thoroughly organized visit to this very interesting and uh, very important part of Iowa State University. With me here is Professor Vaughn Speer of the Swine Nutrition Section of the Animal Husbandry Department, who will tell us, as Mr. Khrushchev visits the various buildings and the various swine pens and the exhibits here, what it is that the chairman will see. The official car has just arrived. You can see on your screen, Chairman Khrushchev is being greeted by officials of Iowa State University. Also in the picture is uh, Henry Cabot Lodge, the ambassador to the United Nations, and the usual cluster of press photographers, motion picture photographers, around Mr. Khrushchev. It is planned and hoped uh, that a little later, uh, our mobile television microphones will be used to let you listen to some of the explanation of this swine nutrition program as it is given to Chairman Khrushchev by Dr. Damon Catron, the uh, manager of this swine nutrition farm. The farm itself is uh, approximately 90 acres and the uh, swine population at any one time is around 2,000. usual formalities of uh, greeting Mr. Khrushchev at each of his stops is now going on and in just a few moments he will begin this walking tour of the program. The tour is a very short one in walking. It takes about seven minutes but uh, the usual delays before the walking tour begins are now uh, besetting us and we shall follow the progress of the official party if and when it begins. Dr. Spear, uh, we were speaking a few moments ago about the, uh, the total investment in this uh, swine nutrition and perhaps uh, uh, you can begin by telling us what what the actual purpose of it is, uh, swine nutrition. What What's the meaning of the phrase? Well, of course, Jack, our uh, real goal in all of our research work here is to build or develop uh, better methods of feeding swine, particularly Iowa swine, Jack. By better methods, uh, what what uh, what result is to be achieved? Are we to, are do we do it to do it more economically, financially, or to uh, to make better pork, or uh, what is it? Well, here again we have a uh, about a threefold uh, purpose. That is, first, uh, produce a marketable product that the uh, that the housewife will accept. In other words, we want a real meaty uh, pork chop. We want a meaty uh, type bacon and ham and so forth. On down the line here, then, would be uh, we are interested in an efficient producing hog, that is a rapid gaining pig, uh, one that will gain on the least amount of feed possible. And uh, there is one outstanding uh, fact that we've been uh, presented around here since we've arrived. Uh, this is the, the uh, idea of early weaning, is that uh, true? That's right. Uh, Iowa State University, Jack, has pretty much pioneered in this field of swine production. And uh, Mr. Khrushchev will see uh, pigs that have been weaned uh, at the age of two weeks. Is that right? Is it this, this, uh, and remember, uh, please, that you're speaking to a, a real city boy who knows nothing about it and to a great many uh, city folks who would like to know uh, just how unusual this is. Uh, Jack, 
the normal weaning age uh, up until the last few years has been somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to nine weeks of age. Now we started along about 1953 in developing uh, diets which would allow us to wean pigs uh, routinely at one week of age. At the present time we're routinely weaning all of our pigs at two weeks of age.